Good evening, everybody. It's great to see so many people out here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Pastor Joe for allowing me to be here to speak with you folks for a little while about uh, why I feel I should become district attorney. I am J.P. Schleilo. Uh, I know some of you in the, in the audience. Uh, I don't know a lot of you. So if anybody has any questions of me, I'd be more than happy to answer them at the break or at the end of the program. Um, I have some information set up in the other building for you. A little bit about myself. Uh, I moved to Nevada when I was 14 years old and went to the University of Nevada. While I was at the University of Nevada, Nevada um, I was active uh, within the school. Because I always felt, and I still feel to this day, that if you're going to do anything, if you're going to make a difference, you have to be active in your community. You have to be able to understand what's going on in your community. Following UNR, I uh, went to law school. Uh, at that time, there were no law schools in the state of Nevada. Old college closed, uh, which was the old law school. And I went out of state to Willamette University to complete my law school. When I came back, I passed the bar exam, of course and went to work for Keith Lewis uh, at the Lyon County District Attorney's Office, who was District Attorney at the time. Uh, under Mr. Lewis, I started out as civil uh, Deputy District Attorney. He had the foresight to have somebody that would just solely work on civil matters for the county, boards and commissions, advisory councils, those sorts of things where the county needs the legal advice, uh, working with the other public officials in the county, like the clerk, the uh, recorder, the assessor's office. So following that, I did that for a two-year period, and I was then appointed as a uh, criminal deputy district attorney. And following that, chief deputy district attorney in 2005, when Robert Estes took over the office. So in 2005, um, I was uh, the Chief Deputy District Attorney. I handled many budgetary matters for the District Attorney's Office. Um, I still did a significant amount of civil work, and I did an awful lot of major criminal trial work. And currently, uh, I have experience in every mode of trial practice that there is. That is one of the things that a district attorney needs to know so he can properly train his employees. So now I've been in Lyon County for 20 years. I've made Lyon County my home. I have married my wife in Lyon County. We live in Lyon County. We have two young children, and I say young, I keep thinking that because now my oldest child just started high school a week ago. And, yeah, oops, there we go. And my youngest child's 11. Both go to schools in the Mason Valley. We live in Mason Valley. My home is in Mason Valley. And my heart is in Lyon County. As a district attorney, there's a number of things that need to be accomplished the way I see it. First of all, if you didn't know, the Lyon County District Attorney's budget is $1.7 million this year. $1.7 million of taxpayers' money going to the district attorney's office for the support of the public. The Lyon County District Attorney is the public's attorney. There's no other attorney here in Lyon County that the public can go to and ask advice, find out how government works, or be protected from criminals. You need the background and the experience in the office in order to do that. Of that $1.7 million, a huge majority of that goes to salaries. Last year, the district attorney's office overspent their salary budget by $73,000. They overspent the entirety of their budget. 
have to be able to manage your budget in an efficient manner so that you can have the proper personnel doing the proper job. The deputy district attorneys in this county currently work four days a week, Monday through Thursday. I don't believe that that's appropriate. These are salaried employees, some of them making $120,000 a year of your money. The chief deputy district attorney making $152,000 a year of your money. And there's not a district attorney available for the public on Friday. I think that that's atrocious. I think that the district attorney is going to be there because deputy district attorneys need to be there. And they need to be working for the county five days a week, if not seven days a week. I will make sure that happens. They are salaried employees. They are there to do their job. <clears throat> Another thing in relation to the district attorney's office is I don't believe that it is it that is very accessible. Very accessible to members of the public very accessible to public officials. And that's another reason that I want to run for this office. That in addition to the fact that even though crime rates and the amount of complaints that have been filed have risen, the actual prosecutions are down from 2,000, 25%. The juvenile problem petitions are down 12%. The district attorney is not putting the time in currently for the public to manage the office. And that's what I want to do for you. Thank you very much. My time is over. Thank you.